So in this video, I I compiled um so I git pull git pulled the most recent K3s version, the the dirty version uh, from the Rancher K3s GitHub, and I compiled the binary myself uh, to run the K3s. And as you can see uh, here, the version shows uh, it's a it's a dirty version. Uh, so uh, the reason I want to run this uh, dirty version is uh, it has uh, it added a new uh, uh, flag. Uh, let me show you what's the flag. So in the system D K three S services, uh, when I execute the K three S server, uh, there is a new flag here uh, that uh, you can specify the final interface here. Um, so by default, if you don't use this uh, final interface, uh, the K three S will use the default. Uh, interface as the final interface. See if we have a, a management network uh, with default route uh, behind a corporate proxy, and uh, it will use the it will use the default route uh, network interface, uh, which is not what I want. So the case 3 s has this uh, a new flag. You can specify. Uh, on a on a, a, a interface you would like, and um, so for example in this case I'm using uh, uh, ENS two two four interface, and uh, my IP address uh, node IP address this one is actually on on this interface. So and uh, and it, so this would also resolve my problem like uh, if I want to reboot this virtual machine. I I prefer the K3s startup uh, automatically and with all my uh, configuration loaded loaded there and uh, just work properly without uh, manual intervention and uh, so this this flag would help uh, and um, but but uh, when I run this flag uh, I, I I came up with uh, I had a problem here. Uh, that I reported here uh, in the K3s uh, GitHub. So uh, say originally in the, in the K3 services, uh, system D services, it has this. Uh, it means like uh, a startup the K3s uh, when the net after the network uh, services uh, started up. Uh, which makes sense, uh, but uh, it's not enough uh, because uh, once I have this uh, interface, this flag, flannel interface uh, specified, for some reason, uh, 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 it will complain. Uh, the K3s will complain cannot get IP address uh, for this interface. So basically, in the code, it it is uh, will uh, look for this interface. And find the IP address for this interface. Uh, find the IP address for this interface uh, to be used uh, uh, for the final uh, interface uh, for the final IP. Uh, so, so, but after I uh, changed uh, to this, after network online target. So the difference, the difference here is the, the network online target. Is actually to make sure uh, all the network services like uh, interface IP address uh, is 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 configured up properly. After all, after that, then you know start up the K3s services. So so that's the manner changes here, and to to make it work when the when you reboot the. When I reboot the virtual machine, and then the K3s services would start up properly, and uh, so, 
Yeah, so like like uh, if you, uh, the actual uh, error would be look like this. Uh, failed to find IPv4 address for the interface in S224. Uh, if I only have this setting, but if I switch to this setting, uh, it it uh, will works. It will work. Yeah. So they they marked it as a bug and. Um, yeah, so just you know, and um, for example, uh, right now uh, it's running, right? Okay, 3s. So it's so it's running, but once I but I wanted to reboot it and uh, also make sure it works when the virtual machine is um, boot up. So let's do a quick test reboot. Oh, let me see if uh, yeah I have the so I have this setting online setting okay let's reboot let uh, wait for it to reboot uh, in the meantime uh, w once I reboot it let me uh, uh, log into my big IP and uh, let's delete uh, the the virtual server. Uh, so and it let the case res redeploy the virtual server on the big IP automatically once it uh, start up. So there is no virtual server right here on the big IP. So let's see uh, if the case res services is uh, started automatically. Get call. And spaces. So it looks the case three S has has been started up properly and with all the uh, pod running properly. So we should have the virtual server deployed on the big IP. Yes, so we have the virtual server deployed on the big IP automatically when the case three S services are. Uh, Reboot it and then restart it. So, uh, yes, and uh, and uh, the reason uh, when the K3S services uh, can start up uh, all those part uh, that is uh, are deployed previously, because I think when the K3S services start up, it will look for this. Uh, it will look for in this folder a directory, and. Uh, it will look for uh, there's some YAML file uh, deployed here for those previous deployed uh, parts, and it will find those YAML file and uh, to deploy those uh, services if I understand it correctly. Uh, yeah, so for that we needed to dig into the code to see how it actually works. Uh, it would be also saved in the uh, no, probably not in the YAML. It could be in the SQL uh, Lite database. So, but I haven't looked into code for that part. But um, just you know, this is convenient. Like when you restart the when you restart the case res, uh, reboot the virtual machine, the services can can start up automatically and uh, deploy all the previous part. Automatically, so that uh, saves your time. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, I want to talk about here. Thank you.